There are 1.8 million items in storage with the Division of State History and the Division of Art. And holding one of my favorite items that we are going to talk about in this What's in the Basement series is Chase Roberts. Chase, what have you got right here? This is a swimsuit from the 1920s, a men's swimsuit, and we can definitely tell that from the jock strap on the inside, which is quite it has a Wait, wait, wait. It has a built-in jock strap. A built-in jock strap. These swimsuits were used during the Saltaire Resort's heyday. See, the women's swimwear is a skirt. With shorts sewn in underneath a little bit of built-in modesty. This is an interesting piece, especially because they're made out of wool. These would be high-waisted, actually, so pulled all the way up, all the way to the waist. And there would have been a shirt that went with this, but we don't actually have it. Is this what you would have rented so you could go swim in the lake? Most people probably wouldn't have the money to purchase a swimsuit like this, so they were actually provided at the resort. The first salt air opened in 1893. A fire in 1925 took out the big pavilion, but the resort bounced right back. Yeah. They had swimming, bathing, roller skating, dancing, roller coasters, just everything you can imagine. But as the decades danced on, and with new entertainment options like air-conditioned movie theaters luring more customers away, Saltaire started to sputter. It was closed by 1970 when it went up in flames, this rare home video capturing the sad sight. A third, less dynamic Saltaire exists today, but outside of concerts, the crowds are mostly gone. Our lake today might be a little bit more shallow than it used to be, and it might stink a little bit more, and there is no fancy resort out there But anymore. in 1920, it was a thing. It was a thing, yeah. That was the thing to do in Salt Lake City. Todd Tanner, Fox 13 News, Utah.